What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and today in this video we are going to talk about trading halts and the reason we're going to talk about trading halts is because one of my favorite companies just got hit with a trading halt and so in this video I want to show you what that looks like. We're going to walk through a live example that just happened. I want to explain a couple of things and I want to tell you a little bit more about how you might want to handle trading halts when they come up in your investing or your trading. Here we go. Okay, so this is what the trading halt announcement looked like. This is on a Canadian company on the TSX Venture Exchange. That is regulated by a, a, an organization called IROC, or at least that's what we like to call them. And here it is. So company, Gold Mountain Mining Corp. This is their ticker symbol, all issues. So that means all the different types of their stock. Are they in a trading halt? Yes, that's exactly what it means. And then the reason, this is the important part here, and this is what you wanna look at right away, is the reason behind the trading halt. Because that is what's going to tell you everything behind it. And the reason for this trading halt was at the request of the company pending news. And so when a trading halt happens or when a trading halt gets issued, basically what happens is no more trading is allowed to happen on that security. The stock chart literally goes blank. I'm going to show you what that looks like in 30 seconds here. But it's really, really interesting because it's basically the regulator coming in and saying everybody separate, everybody stop. Nobody can do anything. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what access you have. Everybody stops trading on this security. And so that's what happens when you get a trading halt. Now, what happens when the trading halt is requested by the company? And what happens when the trading halt is requested by the regulator? Those are two very different things that you need to look at. So when it's requested by the company, most of the time, it is done in anticipation of a large announcement or a major change. So the company will come out, they will basically shut down the stock, they will put a trading halt on themselves, they will announce the news, and then at some point after that news is out, they will resume trading. And what that does is it allows everybody to digest, read, and consume that news, analyze that news, make up in their mind, where the new price of that security is and then the trading happens and so what it does is it kind of levels the playing field so that anybody that has early access or reads it right away or can make a decision really quick they're not at an advantage compared to a retail investor or somebody that's moving a little bit slower. And so that is why, that's why a company might request a trading halt. That's what it feels like has just happened in this situation. So that the company requested a trading halt because they're probably gonna put out some big news either after market or pre-market going into the next few business days. So the other option here on the other side of it is when the trading halt is requested by the regulator. And this can be done to settle the market in order to digest and information. So if they know that major information is coming out or Fed information is coming out or different things along those lines, they can actually issue trading halts. Or if there is a violation, if they think a company has violated the rules or the regulations, they can halt trading on that security. Or if they don't file their, their uh, financials, if they miss a date, if they do anything, the regulator can basically stop the trading on that security until they come up to date with their filings and probably pay a fee. The other thing or the other reason where you might see the regulators step in and basically halt trading is in the situation where we call it a circuit breaker. Now, if the market crashes too much, too quickly, the market has what we call circuit breakers in place. They're different on all the different exchanges, but if the stock falls by 5% or 10% or 15% too quickly, or if the market falls by 5, 10 or 15% too quickly, they will completely shut down the entire market or the entire security, and they will basically halt trading for usually a time period. Usually it's five minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes. Sometimes it can be a little bit longer, but these circuit breakers are in place to prevent extreme volatility and major, major issues in the market. They kind of, uh, they kind of allow people to settle out for five or 10 minutes and then get back into it with a clear head. It's literally just kind of like taking a break. And so there's different types of trading halts, but understanding if they're by the regulator or by the company is super important. And then you want to know why the trading halt happened. And so are they a good or bad thing? Well, it depends on what the trading halt was caused by and that why question. So if it was caused by the company releasing some really good news and they put out a trading halt so that all of their investors could understand and digest that news, that would be a good thing. But if they halted their own stock because let's say they're a biotech company and the, uh, the phase three trial completely failed, 
that would be a major issue and that could be another reason they might want to trade their shares or halt their shares before that news comes out. Now in this situation and in this case, I think Gold Mountain is about to announce their mining permit. That is the vibe that I get, that's the feeling that I get, and that is the only major announcement I could see that would cause the company to pause their own shares. Unless it was really bad news, I think this is probably what's happening because this is the final approval before Gold Mountain goes into operations. They've also been waiting several weeks for this mining permit, and there are no more requirements from the company in order to get this mining permit. They were literally just waiting for the decision and the green light. Now, in my mind, this would be absolutely massive news for the stock. I think it would probably send the stock to at least $2.50, if not $3. That, that would be my hope, at least. I do have a position in the company, so that's something to be aware of. But here's what happened. So yesterday, the stock had a high of $2.06, came down to $1.92 this morning around 10.30, 10.45 right here. It pretty much traded sideways for another two or three hours. And then right here, just before three o'clock, around 2.45, 2.45, Fifty, the stock got halted and so there is no trading for the rest of the day it didn't trade going into four o'clock you can see the chart is literally just empty with no candlesticks and no bars here and this time period should actually go till four o'clock but because it was halted we've got absolutely nothing and when you zoom out on the trade you can see here that we've got a very bullish pattern we're definitely going in the right direction but we've been unable to break this two dollar mark we got rejected here in September we got rejected again here right in the middle of October and then over the last two days here, we were able to just sort of break through it yesterday. We pulled back a little bit today and then we've been halted. We do have increased volume over the last two days though, so that is very nice to see. Something to keep in mind, I do own shares right now. I'm up about 15%. My average price is $1.76 and I am very, very bullish on this stock. Now, if you're not familiar with Gold Mountain, here is where you can find it. GMTN is the ticker on the TSX Venture Exchange. Headquartered in Vancouver, they're trading at $1.98 before they got halted. I have made several videos about this company as well. My coverage actually started at like $1.20 or $1.30. And I've been following this company all the way through this mine development into operation here. And I think this is kind of like the pinnacle of what we have been waiting for. So I'm very, very excited about. And if you haven't seen these videos, definitely go check them out and make sure you subscribe to my channel because this stock started at $1.20. It ran up to $3. We're at $2 now. I think we're going back to $3 pretty quickly. So lots of opportunity here. If you want to see what the actual operations look like and you want to see what the mine looks like here is a video on their youtube channel gold mountain you got to check it out they have drone footage that flies all over the facility and i'm pretty optimistic about the company like i said i own the stock i'm very excited to see what this announcement is going to be or why they halted the shares in the trading because um, I think it's going to be the mine permit. I could be wrong here, but if it is the mine permit, I think the price is only going in one direction and you're going to be wanting to hold shares. Now it might be too late because of this halt, um, but we'll see what happens when it opens back up, hopefully on Monday. But in the meantime, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to analyze the stock, how to read the price charts and understand companies like this, definitely consider signing up for my stock market fundamentals course. It's completely free. It's hosted on Skillshare and I would love to share it with you. We've got over 8,000 students actually 9,000 students now that have gone through the course over 330 reviews I promise you it'll be well worth your time the link is in the description down below and if you get any value out of this video remember to click that like and subscribe button I will see you guys in the next video good luck trading good luck investing and we'll talk to you soon